All right, Fatty here from Pack a Punch Traders. Just want to make a quick video lesson on recognizing tops. I thought GMVD was a great example, and I think honestly DWAC. Let me double check on that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, just as this good example. This one was a little bit harder to recognize <clears throat> because generally a choppy stock. Like this could have been recognized as the same thing. But what I'm trying to say <clears throat> with recognizing these tops is after a run-up, look, just look for some choppiness. Um, there's going to be indecision going on in the stock, and that will be recognized on the chart. I thought GMVD, great example. First, you get this squeeze. Let me show the long term. Uh, totally missed this twice. was kind of disappointing. But if I was a short seller, would have had a good angle as well. So I was looking for the 320 previous high daybreak to test the high threes. Got that quick move in the morning. Then we make a higher low, fails to break down, chops around around um, VWAP and fails to retest the lows here. It just starts uptrending. And then volume comes in out of nowhere. Um, it is a low float, doing great volume. So this was just shorts covering and they all got squeezed out and you could kind of just see the momentum kind of weighing out here where you get the top hard dip it's just going back and forth each high is lower um, so you could have seen this as a potential double bottom and if we got more volume this thing could have been something that might have kept going but considering market uh, conditions also this with a strong move with four and a half four point six up ahead as resistance getting this choppy action is a decent a good indicator that um, the top might be in that soon there might be some dilution and or distribution and here we go and that's really it so you get this topping after a huge run up, you get all the energy here and then the energy just starts to wane out and then if it keeps holding up, shorts, short sellers expectations would be broken and that could trigger another short squeeze. But if you look at the volume here, it's fading, not much buying going on and even though it's getting held up, it's propped up on weak volume. So the second that volume dies out and short sellers take over, it's over. And you can see that here with a huge panic. And then you get the fade away, fade here, which would have been a decent play. 15% or so. Getting in the low fours. We're covering in the mid threes here. Um, so I just wanted to go through that as a little lesson. Because I recognize that. Because I wanted to buy... Okay, because obviously I missed this twice, and I'm just emotional, and I wanted to get my money, but what I feel like I'm owed, because I missed it, it was on my watch list, and was watching this, and this just took off right in front of me, very disappointed, but I really could not get myself to take this, because, like I said, we could even send this, set this trend line here, it's just higher, lower highs, and then volume fades and the sellers take over. So in a different market could have ended differently. But for now, that's yeah, that's just what happened and that's something to look for. So if you're ever up decently in a play and it starts getting choppy and the volume starts to die and it's you know, up a bit squeezed all the shorts out possibly might be a good area to take all your profits or some because you might get a top and it might not be a long-term top just a short term but nonetheless you want to protect your money so before i start rambling we'll keep this under five minutes uh there's just a quick lesson on recognizing tops